I'm actually going to have her look like she's holding it. My sewing friends, I hope you are doing well. My name is Delilah and yeah, I don't know why I just can't stop smiling. <laughs> so this is Vlogmas and it's my own, it's probably going to be my only like Vlogmas video because I have been, you know, really busy and I'm just trying not to stress. I've been doing a lot of sewing. It's the end of the year, everywhere on TV. And Christmas trees, gifts wrapping and cheer. Just the worst time to be with someone special. In all the movies, there, kissing in the sun, holding hands and mittens, baking together at home. I like the movies when I'm walking in the snow, cold hands and mittens, eating gingerbread home. I dream of December nights, kissing under prayer lights, snow. but we are full of Christmas spirit here in our house because I have a, my little one. I mean, if you guys wanna really get in the Christmas spirit, children, oh my gosh, she is seven years old and she is loving Christmas. Everything is just so magical. And we have these elf on a shelves and they've been kind of making things really fun around here. So in this video, I'm just gonna share a little bit about, you know, just the Christmas holiday. And then I also decided I'm going to share with you my handmade ornaments. So just some things that are going on with my tree. I don't have like a fancy tree this year because I do have a little one, she's seven. So she also likes to do quite a bit of decorating. I'll show you what's going on down here. We did a gingerbread house. So there's a picture right there. I decided this year, if I mean, if any of you guys have built the gingerbread kits, you may know, you might have a secret for me, but the frosting really does not keep the walls from staying together. So this year, you know what, I'm like, you know what, I'm not gonna play that waiting game of trying to make it stay only for it to like fall apart. So I used my hot glue gun and I glued up the sides of it. And we never really even eat the, well, we don't eat the gingerbread house anyways, usually just like the treats on top of it. So my daughter is just full of spunk. And so here's some footage from her. Don't forget the lipstick. One of these days, I would love to get one of those sewing advent calendars. I've been loving watching other YouTube sewers open up the gifts that they get every day, you know, in the month of December, and they get these cute trinkets. We don't have that. We just have this advent calendar, but it is so simple, but you would be surprised at how much my little one just loves to you know, move it to the next day. So like at, on the 8th and then tomorrow we'll just go ahead and move it to the 9th. So nothing special here, but it's still just kind of a lot of fun. What I decided is I'm going to share with you some of my handmade ornaments that are on my tree. I could make it a little bit more fancier. Right now it's just hanging with this piece of yarn but I love the colors and I, I just love to crochet. You guys, I have so many hobbies and I just don't have enough time for all of them. Oh, also I did make this shirt. I will put 
the pattern number up because I can't remember which one it is. I just talked about it the other day. It's a really fast pattern. I really like this one. Oh, and then these are my gnomes. I These are so quick to make, you guys. You make them, I'm gonna put a link. I actually have a really short video to it. Um, this up in here is a popsicle stick. This I bought from Joann's and this little nub, it's just a wooden ball that you glue on it. So these are super easy for you to make and you know, who doesn't love a gnome? Let me see, what else do I have? Oh, I just love everything handmade. My sister-in-law, she recently got into cross-stitching and she made that. And so I just decided to hang this one up. Oh, this is another simple one that I made. You just cut out a heart and sew it down. And I think I even cut this so snowflake out by hand and then added that cute little button and then you have an ornament. Oh, I have another idea for you. These I bought from Hobby Lobby. It's just a sign and I drilled the holes in them and then attached the wire here. I love these wooden sayings to put on the trees too. I like big ornaments. So here is my whole tree. Let me move it back up this way. And so it's got some fun ornaments on it. It's not very fancy at all. And then all these other ornaments are crowded down here below. <laughs> so my daughter can only reach up so high. And then I'll come over here and show you. This is something that I made a long time ago, probably like seven years ago, so I guess not that long ago, but I did the hand embroidering on it. Season of white, cold as night, stars shine bright, all is right. And I did all of this by hand as well. I mean, you can really make anything into an ornament. Here's an owl ornament that I did, and I have a video on this one as well, because this is actually a pin cushion that I did, and he has legs that sits up um, for this ornament though I just did the owl face and I did mach and I machine stitched it using my embroider stitch and then I love this owl too this is one that I crocheted and it's just a free pattern that I found I think I found this pattern on Pinterest so I do want to thank you for taking the time and visiting with me I hope that you are enjoying your holiday season and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i do hope to see you in my next video you guys i have so many projects that i've sewed that i can't wait to share with you so until next time happy sewing bye guys